when I was walking, I just felt like, like I hurt and like I had to limp. That limp, the result of a nightmare diagnosis, a superbug hijacked the body of 11-year-old Ronan Mendez, holding him hostage, literally in a hospital bed for weeks. 10 News reporter John Horn, live in the newsroom. Ronan is back home, we know, but he's not now in the clear by any means. Right, and Ronan says the pain was like someone taking a hammer and pounding at the bottom of his foot with almost every step. Doctors thought at first it was a sprain. It turned out to be something deadly. And when I walk, it would go, Jim. Ronan Mendez knew something was wrong. I could tell it wasn't going to last like a few minutes or like a day. He couldn't take the pain in his foot any longer. The 11 year old came home early from school, unable to walk. His mom, Glenda Riley, took him to the hospital. We all assumed it was a sprain or a break. They did an x ray, there was nothing, so they gave us an ankle brace and sent us home. But it only got worse. Back home in National City, Ronan developed a fever of 103, his pulse high and blood pressure low. Riley brought him back. They couldn't stabilize him, so they decided to transfer him to Rady's. Doctors there ultimately found that Ronan was infected with MRSA, a bacteria that's resistant to many antibiotics. It spread to his heart and lungs. I can talk about it now because he's safe, but for a week, I didn't think he was going to make it. Ronan had multiple surgeries and spent two and a half weeks in the hospital. He doesn't have much memory of it. He and his mom say they think the MRSA got into his body through an ingrown toenail, though doctors couldn't confirm it. The toenail pierced a part of the skin that let open cut that gave an open cut and it let the um, germs get in. Ronan came home on Monday, but he's now on blood thinners to relieve clots and also needs antibiotics to get rid of the rest of the MRSA. He's still got several weeks before he can go back to school. Yeah, I miss a lot of things. Now, Ronan's mom, Glenda, is taking time off from work and school to take care of her son. A GoFundMe page has been set up to help with expenses. If you would like to participate, there's a link on our website. Just go to 10news.com and click on that red as seen on TV button.